everybody welcome to fun food friday now on today's fun food friday we're going to be making a waffle cone strawberry crunch that's what i'm going to call it now they have many many recipes online for this um so many different ones that you can do i modified it to i'm going to try it my way and uh see how it comes out but like I said, there's so many different recipes that you can find online for a strawberry crunch, you know, waffle cone. But I'm trying to make it uh, not so sugary and cream cheesy, if that makes any sense. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to be using here. Oh, hold on, I forgot one ingredient. As always, right, guys? You know me. All right, I got it. <clears throat> okay. Now, instead, of the, in a lot of recipes, they call for cream cheese and powdered sugar and all that. I want to eliminate that. And I'm going to be using a vanilla yogurt. This is Thor's Skya Vanilla. I'm going to be using this instead of cream cheese. And I'm also using the Fit and Active, which I got this from Aldi. Light whip topping. It has 50% less fat in it. And only, uh, let's see, how much sugar? Da, 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 da. Fat, fat cards. Oh, sugar. Total sugar is one gram, includes one gram of added sugar. Now, in here, I chopped up some fresh strawberries. And I added a teeny tiny bit I sprinkled a teeny tiny bit of granulated sugar over it you know just to sweeten them a little and try and get some of the juices out but I did not put a lot of sugar I just do, 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 and I'm letting it sit here so that's a, a food term do, 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 do. okay now I got these at all these. These are the waffle cones. You get 12 count cones. They're by Benton's. And in here, it's no fat, no cholesterol. Sugars are 6 grams, include 6 grams of added sugars. So, that's why I added very little sugar here. I got the light whip topping, which has very little sugar. Because the cone's going to have sugar in it. The cookies are going to have sugar in it. And let's see, this yogurt has, looks like 2% sugar in this. And this is a small cup. I can't even see this, but anyway, what about eight ounces maybe? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna let this set to like, loosen up a little bit now in here i have vanilla oreos that you can get from the dollar tree you can get the small packages you don't have to buy the big package and i'm gonna use my rolling pin and just smush them up in here you can use it put it in your uh, food processor but you want them uh you don't want them finely chopped you want some you know bits to it or you can put it in your um, blender. You can even do that, which I didn't want to dirty the blender. So I'm going to try it this way and see how it comes out. Yeah, so let's do that. So these are the vanilla Oreos, the golden Oreos, they call them. And I want to crumble them up. And I'm really using my hands to crumble it. And also in here, I have the strawberry wafer cookies. And these are from the Dollar Tree. Now they have two kinds. They have the Barducci and they have the Columbina ones. And I read the package on the back, <coughs> excuse me guys. 
and the fat is only two grams of fat in here and sugar is four grams so and the sat fat is one gram so I compared the back of the packages and I found this one to be better for me okay taste wise I don't know well we're gonna crumble these up too guys like I said if you have a blender use that if not do what I'm doing a blender or a food processor It'd be a lot faster to do it like that but I'm just crumbling these up and a lot of these recipes too that I was looking at use jello strawberry jello and yeah I didn't go that route so I think there's plenty of sugar in here here and in the waffle cones that you know all right so wanted to get that all nice and crumbled up oh that came out good all right so you want them like in pieces like that you don't want it fine let me um put it in a bowl here so this came out good this came out the way i wanted it to so i'm going to put that in the bowl here well actually let me do it this way i'm going to put it in the smaller bowl and then we got our golden oreos And we want to put that in with that. Easy so far, right guys? And also, I think with the um, jello one, you had to put the oven on and stuff like that. So I kind of... I'm doing a little bit from everything that I saw, but then modifying it to, to me, you know? So you could do that also. I'm trying to break this up a little bit more, the white ones. <clears throat> and you want to mix it up. I'm going to use my hands. You want to mix these two up. And try and get these cookies, you know, like the same consistency, if you can, to um, the pink ones. What better tool than your hands, right guys? Alright, so I'm not going to fuss with this too much. I got it pretty much... <clears throat> where I want it. You know, you got your little bits of cookie. You got your wafer in there, your strawberry wafers. And that's all it is for this part. Right there. That's it. That's all. Uh, let me put it over there. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. All right, so now in this bowl, <clears throat> here, I'm going to put the whipped topping. Like I said, I'm using the white. It's only one gram of fat and one of sat fat, no cholesterol. only 90 something cents at Aldi's okay so let's get this cool whip in there 
Well, it's still a little frozen, guys. But I'm plopping it in there anyway. And again, kids can help you do this. They can crunch up the cookies for you. Right? And then they get a nice treat after. All right. So let me try and break this down a little bit. <clears throat> And I'm going to add, now just to give it like that uh, cream cheese essence, I guess, is the word. Because we know it's not cream cheese. I'm going to use this vanilla yogurt. It'll give it like the tang of the, the cream cheese. That's what it looks like. You want the thick, so if you're going to use a yogurt, use a Greek yogurt or a thick yogurt like this. Use Greek. And you want to mix that in with your Cool Whip. Like so. You can probably get a no sugar or close to a no sugar yogurt too, you know? So, so far this is not um, too bad. <laughs> but like I said, you can find a lot of different variations, guys. I want to get it well incorporated, the yoga and the cool whip. Now, if you taste it and it's not sweet enough for you, I would add a little bit of con confectioner's sugar uh, because that, it's not so grainy. You know, you won't get that graininess from regular sugar. But, like I said, I'm trying not to, you're getting, I think you're getting enough in the cookies. And, yeah. And in these waffle cones, you're getting six grams, include six grams, and that's in one, one waffle. All right, so I think that's mixed pretty well. All right, so now I got my strawberries over here. Use as many strawberries as you think you're going to need. I did like uh, six or seven, and I cut them up into chunks like that. And like I said, a little bit of sugar I sprinkled over it. Not a lot. And I'm going to dump this in the Cool Whip and the yogurt. Look at that, guys, how pretty. Ah. Now, you would want to refrigerate this a little, you know, to get it more set up because right now it's kind of loose. Um, I don't know how long, like I said, I'm modifying this recipe. And this is the first time I'm trying it with you all. But anyway, you would refrigerate it. Let it set up a little bit because you know how Cool Whip can set up, right? All right. But I want to show you what you actually do. Um... If 
how you set it up, how you would make it. So I'm not going to wait for it to set up. And all oh, these package these good guys. That's what they look like. They're the Bentons that you get, you know, from all these. So you want to take one of your waffle cones. And you want to fill it with your Cool Whip and strawberry mixture. Now remember, this is going to be um, more set up. And then you want to take it and you want to dunk it in your cookies. like so there you go look at that yum let's try it i'm going to see if it's sweet enough because like i said you know i'm doing my variation <laughs> so let's give it a try Mmm, these cones are good. I didn't get a strawberry yet. I got the cookies and the waffle. Hold on. Mmm. That's perfect the way it is. Yes. You wouldn't even know that you had that yogurt in there. This is good. Really, really good. Like I said, look this set up a little. You know? Although I'm eating it without it being set up. Mmm. So good. Remind you of a um, strawberry eclair ice cream. So when you get this really cold, wow. So let me know if you're going to try this. So good. Yeah. I like the way I did it. I really do. I haven't tasted the other ways, but... I can imagine the thickness of the cream cheese and all that. To me, this is much lighter. To me. Like I say, everybody's different, right? Mmm. So good. All right, guys. Let me know if you're going to try it. And it's good. And like I said, the kids can help you. So easy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Enough sugar in here, enough sugar in there. Tiny, tiny bit on the strawberries just to get them juicy. Yeah. And then mix it all together. Mm. Okay, guys. Would I make this again? Yes, I would. All right. Have a great day. Have a safe day. You got two videos out of me today. <laughs> yeah. And until next time, bye now. Let me know if you're going to try this, guys. Yum. Oh, my goodness.